In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called deducing the allowed quantum numbers of an atomic electron. In this problem, you'll be given the value of one of the quantum numbers for an electron. I've been given the value m sub l equals zero, and then you'll be asked to figure out or propose a possible value for one of the other quantum numbers. I'm being asked to come up with the smallest possible value of quantum number n. This problem feels really tricky, so I think it's helpful to start by writing out all of the possible possible values of n, l, and m sub l. For quantum number n, the possible values start at 1 and they work their way up through the in integers, theoretically going all the way up to infinity. Quantum number l starts at 0 and it works its way up in the same pattern um, going through the integers. However, the maximum possible value of l is going to be n minus 1. So the value of n dictates the highest possible value of l. And then for quantum number m sub l, our values start at negative l, they work their way up to 0, and then from there work their way up to positive l. Another way that we see this expressed is that quantum number m sub l starts at 0, and then it could be either plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, etc., with a maximum and minimum plus or minus L. So both of these represent the same thing, it's just two different ways of writing it. So with this problem, once you have this kind of sketched out, you wanna figure out where you're at with the information that's being given to you. I'm at a possible M sub L value of zero. So that would be this or this right here. And my goal is to figure out the smallest possible value of N. Now I can't really jump straight to N. I've gotta go from M sub L to L. And then once I get L figured out, I can go up to N. And I'm trying to come up again with the smallest possible value. So if I have an M sub L of equal to zero, the smallest possible value of L is also just going to be zero. Um, no matter what the value of L might be, M sub L equals zero is gonna be a possibility all the time. It's always, it's always an option. But I'm looking just for the smallest possible value. Now I have the smallest possible value of L. I wanna figure out the smallest possible value of N, which again is just going to be one, the smallest possible value of N. And like I said, this problem is kind of tricky, um, but wherever it is, um, whatever number that it gives you, just sort of find that number on this graph and then either work your way backwards or maybe work your way forwards, depending on what the problem is asking you to do, and you should be okay.